might get in trouble for saying this, but I feel like it needs to be said. Walmart told us in a statement that their annual losses nearly doubled in Chicago in the last five years, that losing millions of dollars a year is forcing them to close these stores. I might get in trouble for saying this, but I feel like it needs to be said. Walmart is closing four stores in areas where they are saying they're not profitable, right? Um, and people are outraged. I mean, outraged. So the big Walmart over on 83rd and uh, Stewart is closing. And today they've been having a bunch of protests, angry people out. People are just angry and sad S protesting Walmart. We got politicians out there making speeches saying, how could Walmart do this to the community? And now they're calling Walmart racist for taking a resource out of the black community and how dare them they need to explain how it is that Walmart is not profitable when this store is always full it's always packed people are always shopping do y'all want Walmart to just like come out and say it y'all ninjas steal what I'm saying is, is that black people need to stop lying say something black people need to stop lying we really need to stop lying. Like, I, I sincerely hate the blind, misplaced anger. It's like that Walmart on 83rd was destroyed. Like, complete, I'm sorry, it's hot as hell in my house. So, excuse, excuse me, I'm a little, I'm a little moist. That Walmart was completely destroyed during the riots during COVID. I mean completely destroyed. They even set something on fire in that store, set off the sprinklers and flooded the entire store. And Walmart said, the hell with y'all. We're not reopening this store, period, because it's not worth it. So what happened? The community came together, protested, petitioned for Walmart to reopen that store. I don't even think it's been a full two... I don't think it's been a full two years since that Walmart has reopened. So Walmart said, okay, we'll give it another shot. We'll reopen the store because we know that the community needs it. I was talking to one of the managers in there and he was just telling me how bad the theft is at that store. Not only the theft is terrible, they have a lot of violent incidents. I think maybe it was just two weeks ago someone got killed up there. I hate going to that store. I go, I go to that store out of necessity. I honestly go to that store out of necessity when I'm tired and I just don't feel like driving anywhere else. And every time I go in that store, I put my head down. I don't look nobody in the eye. I just want to get in and out. And it's always some kind of incident going on up in there. Walmart is like, we tired of this. We gone. Goodbye. No prior warning. Now, the day after Walmart announced that they were closing four stores, the very next day, somebody went in there and stole six TVs out of the store. And y'all want to stand out there and protest and say, oh, how could they do this? They are, they are hurting our community. Well, Walmart was a resource for this community. The community did not protect that resource so the resource is going away and people are upset and calling walmart racist because of because of this move please make it make sense like it really bothers me when people just blindly are, are mad and not looking at the logical side of the situation it doesn't make sense for any kind of company to come into a neighborhood and just continuously let people just steal, 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 shootings, fights. It's so hard for them to even keep employees, managers at that location. So why would they continue to fight to keep this location open? All I'm saying is, yes, it's a very sad thing that the community is losing this store, losing this resource. It's sad for the law-abiding citizens that need that store, that rely on that store um, as their neighborhood Walmart. But, you know, the sad truth is, it doesn't make sense for them to keep the store open if all these terrible
terrible things keep happening at this location. When Walmart reopened after the riots, it should have been 20 grandmothers up there. Grandmothers and grandfathers with house shoes and belts and bats standing at every aisle. I done told you, you can't come out. You <laughs> but nobody is doing anything. No one is taking responsibility. Like, we understand. We understand why y'all leaving. Our bad. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, I've been watching the news stories all day and people standing outside of that Walmart protesting, calling them racist. It's just like, come on, place the blame where blame is due. Let's just be real, y'all. And that's all I'm gonna say about it, okay?